welcome to Coach's Corner, uh, Cav Faithful, and, and uh, certainly this week uh, we're going to have a preview of Game 11. Uh, we call it, we call it uh, bonus pay with the players because it's certainly tournament time. We'll give a quick recap of the New Bremen game, uh, Week 10 last week, and uh, our preview of, of our first playoff game versus uh, Doylestown Chippewa, which is way up by Akron, far, far away. A uh, couple, couple things, uh, just, a, just a little preview. Of, we're talking about the uh, playoffs a little bit. Um, this is our 18th consecutive year in, in the uh, in the tournament. That is a state record, or the state I don't know if it's a state record of total, but but consecutive. We're the, we're the team that has the most consecutive right now, so we're uh, <coughs> really proud of that. Um, over over since the year 2000, I guess I was just kind of checking some playoff things out, but since the year 2000. Uh, we are 182 victories and 26 losses, and um, that 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 equals 58 um, playoff games in uh, in those 15 years. So that's 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 something to be proud of for for all of our guys that have played over those years, and certainly under Coach Reed's leadership. And now I've tried to try to continue that. So so we're really proud of that. I think if we can win this week, it'll be I don't know how many years in a row of w where we've won at least 11 games. So. So there are some things to really, really be proud of uh, as a community, as a uh, program, as a, as, a, as a team, all those guys that have played all, all those years. So, so hats off to all you guys that, that have, have uh, kept, that, keep, kept that streak going. Um, last week's game against New Bremen, uh, terrible, terrible weather. Um, it starts snowing from the, from the very get-go, um, and it snowed the entire game, windy and, and cold. And fortunately for us, uh, we came in and really, really played well the first half uh, against the against, uh, a uh, new Bremen team that, that, that uh, hasn't been too successful this year. So, um, but but uh, started from the very start. They hiked the hiked the first snap over the quarterback's head, and we recovered it. And we just got off to a good start. Um, and, and and by the second half, uh, we got the, our our old guys out, got the young guys in, and and so uh, the final score was uh, 47 to nothing. And, and uh, we felt good about that. And most importantly, I think again, I think I said this last week. But we came out of this game really, really healthy, um, and so all of our all of our varsity guys are, are feeling good and and refreshed, and and uh, so far this week we've had a good good practice. So uh, that leads us to uh, Doylestown Chippewa, who we who we played last year in the second round, and I, I believe it was a, a 40, 49 to uh, twenty one victory. Um, I think we were up forty nine to nothing in, in the third quarter, but um, Doylestown is is uh, near Akron, three and a half hour drive, I think, by car. So fortunately for us, they have to travel. To cold water, uh, we got that got that first round uh, home game um, because of our, our our nine and one season and, and accumulated enough points. Uh, Bishop Hartley and uh, and Kenton really really uh, helped us accumulate all those points. Both those two teams were eight and two. I think actually both of those were zero oh and two, and then and ran off eight straight. So lots of points there. And then then our league did really well in our non conference schedule on those first two games. And so so when when all of our league teams win, well if you beat them, you get those accumulate those points. So so uh, that really helped us get that home game. Uh, uh, Doylestown uh, comes off a nine and one season this year again, in a, in a league championship. So uh, they're, they're, uh, they look like a better team than last year. They have a returning quarterback who's uh, who's pretty solid. He's kind of like uh, he's kind of like a, a version of Brody. He run he's their leading rusher and and certainly obviously their leading passer. Um, they're more of a run team. They have they have a couple big linemen. One big big lineman that. Uh, you know, really, uh, really is 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 their key key guy that they try to run behind. So 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 we'll, so we'll try to prepare for that the best we can. Um, defensively, a couple big, couple of the same guy is is a big D lineman with one other guy, and then and the other guys are, are pretty athletic. So uh, you know, you you don't really know what you're going to get till you play them when you when you play teams so far away and and, and don't really know their competition. But uh, so Doylestown Chippewa coming to town um, with a nine and run one record as as we are nine and one. It's a seven o'clock game instead of a seven thirty on, on when we play on Saturdays. So again, the game is on Saturday, seven o'clock at Cavalier Stadium. And uh, looking forward to seeing you. If you can make it out, if not, uh, follow along with us. I'm sure it'll be on the radio. And and um, look look forward to talking to you next week on uh, Coach's Corner. <laughs>